Hi guys, it's Kat. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fully adjustable miniature easel. You can adjust the height and even fold the whole thing up. It's made of mostly just popsicle sticks, so you can easily make this on your own. Let's get started. The first thing you need is some standard popsicle sticks. Take one and cut the round ends off. I just use a miter hand saw to do this. You want to end up with a 3.5 inch length. Don't throw away the ends, we'll use them later. Then take that piece and draw a line straight down the middle. I just run my X-Acto knife on both sides and split the wood. I end up with two thin 3.5 inch lengths. Do this again so you have four of these in total. Also cut out two 2 inch lengths, one 2.5 inch length, and one 1 inch length. Take the 1 inch piece and position the 2.5 inch piece vertically underneath it. This creates the letter T. Then grab one of those 2 inch pieces and position it horizontally on the bottom. Use wood glue to adhere all these pieces together. Then add a drop of glue to the ends of the horizontal pieces. Place a 3.5 inch length across the top to connect them. Do this for both sides. Now let's clean up those edges that stick out. I just cut off the excess with my X-Acto knife. There, that's better. Take another 3.5 inch length and position it on the top of the center vertical piece. Add a drop of wood glue to the bottom of it, then add the other 2 inch piece horizontally across it. This just creates an upside down letter T. You can glue those pieces together separately, but I just wanted to show you how it's all going to fit together. This top piece, which is the canvas holder, will slide up and down and make the height fully adjustable. To do that, we need to make some holes on this bottom piece. I grab a tiny hand drill and drill 6 holes up the length of the middle section. Make sure the drill goes fully through the wood. There, that looks good. Let's go back to the top piece. This is optional, but I'm going to round the tip of this out. I'm just using a file to do this. We need to keep this top piece in place as we slide it up and down, so let's build a contraption to hold it down. I take a coffee stirrer and cut out 4 quarter inch pieces. Apply glue to the ends of one piece and add on two other pieces. Let that dry. Once it dries, add it to the middle section of the easel. Then close the back with that last piece of coffee stirrer. I'm going to glue this piece down, so add a drop of wood glue to the back of the middle piece and slide the contraption onto it. When that dries, you should be able to slide that piece up and down easily. Next, let's add a ledge where the canvas will sit. Cut out a 2 inch length from a coffee stirrer. Add wood glue to the horizontal part of the top piece and position the coffee stirrer in place. Now grab those popsicle stick ends that we saved in the beginning. Add wood glue to the flat side of one piece and add it to the bottom of the upside down T. Now pull the whole top piece out and drill a hole into that rounded end. Grab that second cutoff and glue a half inch piece of coffee stirrer to the bottom of it. Now just glue it close to the top of the easel. Almost there guys, just a few steps left. Next, get some miniature hinges and screws. The link to the ones I'm using here is in the description box below. I'll just need one of each. I position the top piece of the easel at the height I want and just push a screw through both pieces. You just need to line up the holes on both pieces at the height you like. You can pull the screw out anytime and adjust the height. Finally, you can add on the last piece, the folding back leg. Grab that last 3.5 inch piece of popsicle stick and line it up against the back of the easel. Mark where it meets that top 1 inch piece and cut that off. Then grab a hinge. Use super glue to glue one end of the wood to the back of the hinge. Then apply glue to the other half of the hinge and position it on the back of the easel. As you can see, this piece now swings in and out. The adjustable height and swinging back leg allows you to collapse this whole thing very easily. Last thing, I just drilled a hole through that top piece for an added detail. It doesn't actually have any function, so it's totally optional. And that's it guys, the miniature easel is all done. Just make a miniature stretch canvas with my miniature canvas tutorial link below, and you have a super cute set for your miniature dollhouse. You can also use this as a photo stand or as a gift to an artist in your life. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure to subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments below what other projects you want to see, and I'll see you next time. Bye!